Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, June 19th, day 116 on the Appalachian Trail. And I spent the night, last night, at Galehead Hut. After a miserable day yesterday, and the sun is out right now. So that is wonderful to see the sun. There's still a chance of rain this afternoon, but uh, it's a gorgeous spot here. Just had dinner here last night and breakfast this morning. It's almost eight o'clock, I would imagine. And I'm getting ready to head, uh, head out. I'm gonna go down to Highway 302 today. I've got several little nice places to cross first. Uh, I am soaked still. Uh, all my clothes are wet. Uh, hope, hopefully I can get dried out quickly and, uh, and back on tomorrow. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'm, gonna get some, I'm sure there'll be better views today without with all this rain really okay thanks all right that's the franconian ridge we came up yesterday and you can't see right now but lincoln is behind the cloud if you remember we went over lincoln in it all that rain and then Worked our way up to Lafayette, where it was so bad and windy and rainy. The peak is just showing out of the top of the cloud. And then the real rocky peak to the right of that is Garfield. And then we went down to the hut. Wait, that's Garfield right there. Yes, yeah, Garfield. Yeah. This, is, this is Garfield here. And then we went down to the hut from there and then worked our way up here this morning. We're on South Twin now. It's gorgeous. So glad it's clear today at the moment. Clouds are starting to roll in. It was not a cloud in the sky when I got up this morning. Now they're rolling in. I've been hiking probably a half a mile or so uh, since I came off the top. I came down off of a South Peak and then he kind of just leveled out. This is a half mile of not so steep terrain. It's the first I can remember of any distance at all in the whites where you're not at least climbing way up or climbing way down. I'll take it. Once I looked at my time to climb up to Twin Peaks, I was moving at 0.9 miles an hour <laughs> climbing, but it's steady making up for that now since I hit this flat, flatter ground. And still, you gotta watch for every step with all the rocks, but sure is nice. I change a little bit. And the sun's still shining, so that's also nice. Maybe I'll have some more views. Headed up to Mount Guyot. G U I O T. And that's what's behind me. I keep looking at. Oh. I better quit looking at the phone though and look at, stop and look at the view. It's awesome behind me. I'll give you a better view. I think I 
at Scarfield right there because it was rocky. And I think Lafayette's the tallest one. Lincoln and Lafayette are the two. They came up the back side of that. And I'm working my way. It looks like I'm going south. Maybe, maybe east. It's really hate it when I go south. Oh my, look at this. makes and being able to see it's not above the tree line but the trees are stubby That was Zeeland Falls. Uh, I was on Zealand, Mount Zeeland, Zeeland Mount earlier this morning. Came to Zeeland Hut, down below the hut <coughs> at Zeeland Falls. So there are bridges in New Hampshire on the trail. Oh. This is leading to the left. This river is about half of what that other one was we had to cross two days ago. I'll take it, I'm not complaining. After the Zeeland Hut, the trail's been relatively flat. You come down off of Zeeland Hut, oh, probably a 250 foot descent, just guessing. And, and then the trail flattens out. And not difficult at all. Several miles of it flat. I looked at my elevation map though, and the bottom's gonna drop out. Last couple of miles serious down according to my elevation so trying to make as good a time as I can now because it's going to slow to a snail's pace once it, once it goes down give my legs time to recover from climbing and descending this morning so that's sections like this you know it's rain my feet have been wet for three days and i can just about stay dry here but there are places just like this where you just can't stay dry your feet so your feet just stay wet even though it's not raining today yet there's so many places 
where the trail's just holding water so bad that you have to just wave it and the feet get wet. You know, it's hard to keep your feet dry. Socks are just saturated and staying that way. Try to rock hop as best you can. Thank goodness I'm a little taller than most people and I can hop most of them, but not all of them. And then there's an issue called roots. All right, I'm just about to my parking lot. It looks like I'm gonna be about 30 minutes early too. I set a ride up at four o'clock. It's about 3.30. The last half, it's pretty easy. I, I looked at the map and thought it was gonna be real steep, boulder climbing downs. So I gave myself an extra 30 minutes. It wasn't a boulder climb. And now I'm actually on asphalt for the last three tenths of a mile. So, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm going into a hotel that has laundry and get all my clothes washed and dried. Socks, I'm gonna turn my boots upside down on the vent. Let them sit till tomorrow morning. Hopefully they'll dry out. Don't know if they will or not. Uh, two days, three days. I think I go over Mount Hawkson. Oh my goodness. There's a huge mountain on the other side of this highway where I'm getting picked up. And it is straight up. Yikes, I hadn't looked at the elevation for tomorrow. I'm sure I'm going up that mountain though, because this is the trail. Whew. One day at a time. One step at a time, one boulder at a time. Hope everybody's having a good Monday, a good start to the work week, and it has not rained a drop on me today. So that is good. And it's dark back over there, but sun's shining right here. As long as my, my dude gets here pretty quick, I'm all right. All right, I think I've got Ziggy lined up, and I saw him on Far Out, so everybody that uses Far Out, I, I can tell you how Ziggy is after today.